Hey there, Libra. Welcome to your reading for the week of June 28th. Uh, this week, we are going to just jump right in here, Libra, and we are going to see what is going on for you. Uh, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising, Libra, for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Uh, also, make sure to only follow the social media accounts that are linked down below. There are a ridiculous amount of scammers out there. Uh, they're all using my logo, my face, everything. Uh, I will never offer personal readings, sorry, <laughs> to, to people who want one. And I will never, ever contact you for money or anything else through social media. So if someone is contacting you claiming to be me, it is not me. So uh, again, keep an eye out for the scammers and only follow the accounts down below. Uh, Libra, jumping in here, you have the uh, temperance card here showing up in the first position. I do feel like some of you need to kind of like pay attention to the warning signs. I don't know what's going on honestly, Libra, but pretty much every single reading I've been doing for the past few weeks is kind of like saying things don't smell right. <laughs> and you have the skunk spirit right here, right? It's a, it's a card that says know your worth, but you know, it can kind of represent things just kind of being off, like not feeling like things are, you know, different. Pretty much every single reading I've done uh, for the past few weeks has had some sort of warning in it. So, um, you know, as I always tell people, if something doesn't smell right, throw it out. You know, as I always say, like, when in doubt, throw it out, right? So if there's something that you're doubting in your life, if something doesn't feel right, I would, like, trust that instinct as well. I think there could be, like, other things as well that are, you know, kind of like little, I wouldn't really call them spiritual flat tires this week for you, Libra, but what I would say is that it's like there could be like little things that happen and and I think these um, things that are happening are kind of guiding you in the right direction. So, you know, if there are like minor annoyances and things like that, I would just say, hey, this is probably pushing me in the right direction. Hey, this is probably helping me out instead of, you know, hindering me. And I, that's how I would look at things. That's what I'm getting on the temperance card. Temperance can represent turning a negative into a positive. So, you know, that kind of makes sense to me that if you're experiencing little, you know, hiccups or things not working out, then, you know, that that's probably what they are. You have the four cups, four pentacles, and two of swords. I, I Again, I really just feel it, this whole entire row boils down to this two of swords. Uh, two of swords is similar to the eight of swords. And the eight of swords can represent feeling like there's only one way to do things or, um, you know, only looking for one solution of, you know, in any area of your life, any problems that you're dealing with. You know, it can say, it can say that you're only looking at one solution. Even the four of cups says like, hey, there are other ways of doing things here. So you need to kind of pay attention to other ways of doing things. And again, four of pentacles is needing to not stay stuck on just like one way of doing things. So in a lot of ways... <laughs> I feel like this first row is very simple here, Libra. I feel like it's just saying that there are like many ways of doing things that you're doing. And sorry, it is it is hotter than the Sahara Desert right now in, in where I am. So I need water. But uh, let's see where this is going, Libra. It's not really telling me a direction, which is weird. Um, so for some of you, this you know could be your whole entire life. But let's see. Yeah, you have the Ace of Pentacles. Definitely a solid offer coming in for you here. Chariot, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this looks good. And the three of wands, what are you waiting for? For some of you, I get this like weird thing here where there could be like a random or a, a, a weird kind of like change in direction in your life that you just did not expect, right? And um, so that's kind of like what I'm getting here. For, for some of you, I feel like this is a job offer that you didn't expect. It's really funny because what just popped into my head is uh, there's someone I know actually who had like a very solid career and um, they just completely up and quit their career and took another job opportunity in a completely different direction because it was like, you know, it kind of like popped out of nowhere, but it's like a much better opportunity that story just popped into my head while I was looking at this. And again, I feel for some of you, it's like there could be a very unexpected change. Again, this person I'm talking about, they were in their career. They were like solidified. They were not moving, right? But like all of a sudden, they, <laughs> they got this opportunity. They're like, wait a minute, I'm taking it. I kind of get that feeling for you here where if you have a career or a business, there could be another opportunity that comes along. Like maybe a friend is opening a business or 
It could just be one of those things where maybe you're talking to someone and someone's like, hey, you should go apply for this job. I would listen to those messages. And what I mean by messages is, again, sometimes I think we forget that people in our lives can be messengers. People in our lives, you know, our friends, family, you know, just random people on the street, right? They can be messengers. They can be um, sent you know, into towards our direction to kind of guide our path. And um, that's what I'm feeling here in this first row. I feel like quite unexpectedly, there could be, you know, someone who comes across your path and it's a person it, I don't think it matters if you know this person or not. Some of you, I do feel like, you know, this is like a, fi- a friend, a family member, or whatever. Uh, the reason I'm also saying this is the chariot. The, in a certain way, the chariot can say that you're kind of just like allowing to see the, you know, allowing the universe to kind of blow you. It's like it's kind of like you're just seeing <laughs> that that was so inappropriate. But uh, that's not what I mean by that, Libra. I know how some of you are going to take that. What I mean by that is uh, you're just going to see where the wind blows you, right? I feel like you're just kind of like allowing the universe to take you in a certain direction. And I say that because the two sphinxes here on the chariot, they do not have reins. Um, and you know, it kind of represents the fact that this guy here, he's leaving something he's always known, the city in the background, he's leaving that. And he's kind of just like uh, on this new beginning. He actually is holding the same wand that the magician is holding as well. So we could say that he is also the magician. He is like ready for his new beginning. And he's just kind of like seeing where the universe takes him. So I do feel for some of you, there is kind of like an unexpected opportunity that comes in here this week. I actually feel like this could be over the next like um, uh, two weeks here is really what I'm getting. So, you know, I would say now, really, I would give it, you know, I don't trust psychic timing at all, <laughs> period. So I would say between like now and the middle of July, there could be an opportunity. And again, it's going to come in through a person, like someone saying something to you. I'm see- For whatever reason... The Ace of Pentacles I'm seeing as communication. It's an offer, but again, I feel like it's communication from a person. There is a way to read the Ace of Pentacles. Um, you know, there are some card reading systems that refer to the Ace of Pentacles as the letter, so like communication. So I do feel for some of you, that's what's coming in here. I would. I feel like the Three of Wands is saying take the risk because Three of Wands is kind of like a, a energy of taking a leap of faith. So if there's an unexpected opportunity coming your way, I would take it. Uh, next, you have the skunk spirit. Again, if something doesn't smell right, I I, I feel like this is something else in, that you're dealing with in your life. If something doesn't smell right, you know, again, I would trust those feelings, especially right now. I just feel like there could be a lot of stuff. This could be anything. It could even be food, right? If you, you maybe have some leftovers in your fridge, throw them out, <laughs> right? I feel like this is saying don't get sick, literally. Um, I feel like there are other situations as well, like throughout the day where it's like maybe your friend is like, oh, let's go here. Maybe you don't feel like going. I I would trust that feeling. Maybe there's a reason you don't feel like going somewhere. I feel like this is saying trust all your feelings at this time. Uh, You have the Hermit, the King of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords. Really interesting because you have the King and Queen of uh, Pentacles here. And I feel uh, there could be like a divine counterpart coming in for you here. A lot of people getting divine counterpart readings lately. I don't really do love readings. I do whatever comes up readings. And um, But what I would say is I do, I've talked about this before. I feel like there are major changes collectively as far as love is concerned in the astrology. So, you know, it makes sense to me that uh, there could be more. It's like, I, I feel like the people who are going to be getting into relationships it's like the relationships are going to be more solid. You know, they are going to be more permanent. In a lot of ways, I feel like we're going to see a significant drop in divorce, but it's kind of an illusion because I feel that just less people are are going to be uh, getting married, number one, in the near future. And again, we kind of see this in the astrology. And number two, the people who do get married are going to be working to keep the romance alive. So again, if you, you know, I talk about this all the time, if you want to be in a relationship or if you want to get married, then make sure you're doing things to keep the romance alive in the relationship. Make sure you're doing things to improve the relationship constantly, you know, because a relationship is work. I feel like people forget that. And, you know, then you'll have a permanent relationship. It's just that simple, really. And again, if you're, make sure you're finding a person who also wants to keep the romance alive as well. And who wants to put in the work, whatever that means for you. Uh, But you have the Hermit, the King of Pentacles, and the Five of Swords here. Again, for some of you, I feel like this is something you don't want to return to here. Five of Swords um, is what I'm getting here. The reason I'm saying this is that the Hermit can kind of represent, it doesn't really represent an accomplishment, but at the same time, he is standing at the top of a mountain. He has finished some soul searching. He has finished some difficulties and challenges that he's been through. 
And the hermit can kind of like say that maybe you have, you know, kind of reached the top of something. Like maybe you're making a certain amount of money or maybe you ha you're at a certain point in a relationship. This is saying to me that you don't want to go backwards. Like I feel like you're wanting to stay the same. I do feel like there could be, it's almost like I'm getting some fears here that you could slip back, right, Libra? And so I, I feel like some of you are kind of like having that fear here is what I would say. And I feel like you need to let go of the fears. I feel like you need to realize that, you know, again, you're not going to slip back as long as you put in the work. Uh, for others, I would say that if you're accepting this uh, Ace of Pentacles opportunity, it's probably going to be something that lasts for a very long time. Yep, Knight of Pentacles. Look at all these Pentacle cards. It's like if you're accepting this random opportunity that comes your way, this is like a curveball to me. You know, this is like a one of those readings where you could be making a complete, you know, 360 or whatever in, in or a complete 180 because 360 would just bring you right back around, right? I don't know. Terrible at math. I failed. I took geometry once. I actually dropped it. So, you know, don't don't quote me on the math stuff either, but what I would say here is that I feel like there's a complete, you know, change in direction. You have the uh, Six of Pentacles here and the Seven of Swords. Let go of the past for sure. I feel like some of you need to let go of the past. You do have these like fear cards. Remember, it's funny that I said fierce. Seven of Swords to me, um, you know, can be lying, cheating, stealing in a relationship. But um, to me, it could also be uh, just your own fears. He is, the, you know, it's a card of the lone wolf. He is kind of doing things on his own. And it can kind of represent fears and being afraid of things. So, and you have two cards here that kind of represent doing things on your own. Five of Swords, he, this guy here, he's willing to win at all cost in the front here. And so the Five of Swords is a card of winning at all cost, but that's not necessarily a good thing. Um, and the Seven of Swords is a card of being a lone wolf. So I feel for some of you, this is talking about fears of, again, slipping back into something. Uh, I would just, number one, keep your eye on the prize. Seven of Swords really asks you not to take things too seriously as well. Again, he has polka dots all over his cloak on the Seven of Swords. Polka dots in the tarot represent needing to not take things too seriously, needing to uh, enjoy yourself more and things like that. Sometimes I think, again, if we're if we're like making a certain amount of money and we have all these old money fears coming up, like, oh, what if this bill shows up? What if I, my car breaks down and I lose all my money? What if this happens, right? It's like, that's the Seven of Swords. It's like all those fears coming up. Seven of Swords says, if you are constantly worrying about that, then something is going to happen. So Seven of Swords says, just pay attention to what's in front of you, right? If he would just not worry about those swords, he would avoid stepping into a trap. On some seven of swords, there's like a noose on the ground he's about to step into. So it kind of says like, don't step into traps. Again, trust your intuition. Also, you have the skunk spirit. Skunk spirit says, know your worth. Sometimes I think if we're making a certain amount of money or if we're in a good relationship, we push it away because of self-worth issues. So the skunk spirit says, if you have something, it's because the universe thinks you're worthy. That's all you need to know, right? Plain and simple. I feel like this is part of the problem here as well, Libra, is that you have this orphaned card here. I feel like some of you maybe have been, you know, kind of like abandoned by things in the past. Again, this could be in love, but it could also be financial as well. We can definitely, uh, you know, financial abandonment can definitely cause trauma for sure. Um, you know, especially if you haven't had money or if you grew up without money or what, you know, whatever, if you went through a difficult time, uh, that can definitely cause some issues, right? So I feel like for some of you, it's kind of like this is the fear of you have this fear of being, uh, you know, abandoned or you have this fear of being orphaned by something here in this situation. Yeah, you have this unfinished symphony card as well. I feel like for some of you, it's like you have to get right um, with yourself here. It's like that skunk spirit says, no, you're worth, right? It's almost like saying to me that, you know, um, whatever accomplishment you're, whatever thing you're trying to accomplish at this time, it's like there's a certain energy that that thing has, like whether it's money, health, spirituality, you know, business, love, whatever. And I feel like the Unfinished Symphony card is like saying, there are just like a few things that you need to work on to make sure that you're staying in a healthy relationship um, or that you're healthy with money or whatever. And again, the best example I could give is like, do what other successful people do, plain and simple, right? It's like, you need to do the things that, um, you know, anyone who is successful does in, in whatever it is. Like, the, you know, healthy people, what do they do? They eat healthy food, they work out, they pay attention to their health. What do successful money people do? They pay attention to their finances, they save their money, they do all these things, right? So I feel like you just have to step into that energy of doing those things and uh, it will work, <laughs> plain and simple. You have the Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and Judgment card. I would definitely be careful of any bozos coming back from the past here. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. One a cheater, always a cheater, right, is what I would say there. So, you know, I would definitely be careful of that. 
uh, in general. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles, again, King and Queen of Pentacles, I feel like there is new love coming in for you. I really don't feel like this love is here yet, though, Libra. For some of you, I feel like this is, yeah, two of cups, perfect match. Again, if you have someone who's coming in who is proving that they want to put the work in, then very good. This is definitely a new person. Again, Ten of Swords really says by holding on to the past, uh, you know, you're uh, kind of staying stuck. Ten of Swords can represent being stabbed in the back. So for some of you, it's like you could have been stabbed in the back in the past, but by a person who cheated, of course, who wanted to win at all costs. But this is really saying, stop thinking about it, right? Yeah, King of Wands could have been a fire sign here, Libra. And you have the devil. Be careful of, <laughs> be careful. This is a good reading, number one. I kind of see this as like two um, halves, right? Um, you know, I see the unexpected opportunity that's going to lead to a change in direction in your life where it's like things are happening that you just didn't expect to happen, plain and simple. Like I said, the best example I could give is my friend, who, you know, kind of got this job out of nowhere, really, and, you know, c completely unexpected. I mean, I was shocked, right? <laughs> Be because it's like, one, it was one of those things, like I saw this person just working in this career forever, but you never know. Sometimes our paths change, right? And that's kind of like what I'm seeing for you here. And again, it, very good for them, right? This was a positive, positive change. So I feel like for you, it's gonna be positive as well. But again, I think it's just something that could be, like maybe you always thought you were gonna be a doctor, but you end up being a mechanic, you know? And again, I and mechanics make good money nowadays. So it's like, you know, there's no judgments here. But, uh, you know, I, I think it's just like that type of change could be happening for you here, Libra, for some of you. And for, for others, it could be something else as well. You know, I do see like, I, I'm just seeing this as an unexpected change uh, that's coming in for you. Again, it could be have to do with your health. Maybe you have been on one diet. Maybe you make a, do the complete opposite diet, right? Maybe um, as far as work or business is concerned, maybe you have a business, maybe you're making a complete change in your business. Whatever it is, it's good. The other half is I would be careful of a toxic person, liar, cheater, stealer. Again, you would know that they were a liar, cheater, stealer in the past. There's definitely new love coming in for you. For some of you, it could be an earth sign. A Virgo stands out to me. Uh, it could also be a fire sign as well. But again, I think, um, you know, it doesn't matter what you were dealing with in the past. I think that, it, you know, mostly, for the most part, this is saying, focus on new love. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. I think the problem with King and Queen of Pentacles, sometimes, as far as love is concerned, obviously a perfect match, two of cups. But it's like, um, you know, I don't know. I think that it um, lacks the uh, tingles. <laughs> is what I would say to you here, Libra. So it's like, you, it's like you might meet someone where you're attracted to them, but it's not like tingly. You know, I feel like I've said this to you in your third, in your three month, next three month reading, if I'm not mistaken, I'll link that down below. But, um, you know, to me, that combination sometimes, it kind of lacks that thing. What I would say to you is that it develops over time. And um, also, again, this person is probably willing to put in the work. So as the King of Pentacles. So King of Pentacles can be a little bit boring, but they can be trained, right? Or they can be taught how to make you feel the tingles, whatever or whatever it is that you need here at Libra. So that's what I'd say there. Uh, but pretty good reading. Um, like I said, I would just pay attention to anything from the past that's toxic, but it looks good. So thank you for being here, Libra. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate the support. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.